Okay, we have time for some questions. We'll go to SVT. Hello. Yeah. Uh, this, um, the process, is there something that you two can do or is it just a waiting game for Mr. Erdogan? Well, what we do together is that uh, we ensure that um, uh, the uh, agreement that uh, was signed between Turkey, Finland and Sweden uh, in Madrid is implemented. And I welcome uh, the efforts that uh, Sweden has already made to implement uh, the um, uh, uh, agreement, uh, not only by stating clearly that they are ready to step up cooperation um, regarding uh, the fight against terrorism, but actually also strengthening uh, uh, the um, Swedish legislation, uh, including by uh, the provision of membership in, uh, in, uh, in uh, terrorist organizations, including uh, PKK, uh, lifting restrictions uh, on, uh, on, on arms e exports, and, and also establishing the permanent mechanism, uh, which is a, a platform to uh, exchange more information and also to uh, do more when it comes to uh, um, intelligence and also in, cha uh, in uh, changing uh, in, also in sharing the intelligence between uh, the countries involved. So, so, so the, the good news is that what we have seen so far is the fastest accession process in NATO's modern history. Uh, 28 allies have already ratified the agreement. And we also have to remember that uh, Finland and Sweden are in a very different place now than before they, they applied for membership with more NATO presence in the Baltic region. Uh, Sweden and Finland are integrating into NATO's uh, uh, civilian and, uh, and military structures. And it is inconceivable that the NATO allies uh, uh, will not act uh, if uh, there is uh, any form of pressure against uh, Sweden and Finland. Oh, maybe you want to add something? Well, I fully agree, of mm -hmm. course, and I, just to, to say the obvious, uh, uh, that we are very committed to the, to the agreement between Sweden and Finland and Turkey, uh, and we are doing everything we can uh, as soon as possible to, to fulfill all, all the obligations in it. Uh, just wanted to stress the fight against terrorism is, uh, is of fundamental importance uh, in this agreement. Swedish Radio. Thank you very much, uh, Andreas Lider on Swedish Radio. Um, two questions, one for you each, if I may. Um, first of all, to um, Prime Minister, um, what can you and the new government do in order to um, speed up the process, and especially in the talks with Turkey? What can you give to Turkey that the previous Swedish government couldn't give? And uh, to Secretary General, if I may, um, what more do you expect now from the new Swedish government? And since this is for um, Swedish listeners, uh, may I ask you, feel free to answer in Scandinavian if you like. <laughs> um, for the rest of you, you may, you have to, may learn some Swedish, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, I grund och botten fortsätter vi det arbetet som har påbörjats. Det påbörjar vi ju i, i maj i mycket, mycket bred enighet. Vi har alltså sex partier i Sverige av åtta som står bakom detta. Mycket nära samarbete mellan den regering som nyss har avgått och den som nu har tillträtt. Och det samarbetet fortsätter. Jag vill bara understryka detta. Vi förstår att det här är, en, det här är, ett, det är ett långvarigt commitment som Sverige gör. Och det är också en process att, att ta oss in i NATO. Vi har full respekt för att varje nato land fattar sitt eget ratifikationsbeslut. Full respekt för att det, det är Turkiet som bestämmer över det, det turkiska eh, beslutet. Och att det är vi som ansöker om medlemskap i NATO. Mycket stor respekt för detta. Ska jag understryka någon del så är det... Eh, Förutom när vi överenskommelsens alla delar, där vi verkligen nu systematiskt går igenom att vi lever upp till varje del av den överenskommelsen, så är det kampen mot terrorismen. För att den är så fundamental för båda våra länder och att jag har väldigt stor respekt för alla de länder runt om i världen som systematiskt utsätts för terrorangrepp. Att de ser det här som, en, som en, en helt avgörande fråga. Och ska man samarbeta nära i försvarsallians med ett nytt land, då vill man vara 100 procent säker på att det landet också är, är, är väldigt starkt eh, engagerat i kampen mot terrorism. Så kommer jag lägga mig extra mycket möda någonstans så är det den samlade kampen mot terrorism. I will also give the answer in, in, in Scandinavian and I may say a few words in, in English at the end. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, first of all, it is what 
statsminister Kristersson nettopp understreket, og det er at det er bred enighet i Sverige, og det er noe vi setter stor pris på, for det betyr at beslutningen om å søke medlemskap er dypt forankret i Sverige, og jeg satt pris på samarbeidet med den avgåtte svenske regjeringen når det gjaldt NATO-spørsmålet, og jeg setter også pris på den nye regjeringen når det gjelder arbeidet med å få Sverige fullt og helt inn i NATO. Det jeg er glad for er at både den forrige og den nåværende svenske regjeringen er så tydelig på at de skal gjennomføre det man er enige om. Det var en historisk beslutning som alle NATOs 30 medlemsland tok da man inviterte Sverige og Finland til å bli medlemmer av NATO. Alle NATOs 30 medlemsland har underskrevet medlemskapsprotokollen, og allerede nå har 28 av våre 30 medlemsland ratifisert protokollen. Det er den raskeste medlemskapsprosessen i NATOs moderne historie. Så så langt har dette gått svært rast fra Sverige søkte medlemskap til vi inviterte undertegn protokollen, og det store flertallet av landene har ratifisert. Det som er viktig er at man nå følger opp, og det har vi jo sett, og det har også vært en tydelig beskjed fra statsminister Kristersson, det er at man vil følge opp den enigheten som er om å skjerpe terrorlovgivningen, inkludert å gjøre det ulovlig å være medlem av terrororganisasjoner, at man vil sørge for et tettere samarbeid når det gjelder etterretning og kampen mot terror, at man vil også fjerne restriksjoner på våpeneksport til et NATO-land, Tyrkia. Og dette er beslutninger som til dels er tatt og vil bli tatt, og det er en bra oppfølging av den avtalen, og der er jeg glad for det brede politiske enigheten i Sverige om dette. En slutsats av dagens samtale er at Sverige nå kommer att engagera sig tydligare och djupare i NATOs counterterrorism-verksamhet. Där tror jag att Sverige skulle kunna bidra och inte bara naturligtvis också ha en stor glädje av detta, men också att i handling bevisa att vi är väldigt engagerade i den frågan. Jag ska repeat min kollegas fråga, för jag kan inte prata svenska. Ja, inte än. Du sa att du skulle bli dubbel the efforts of the Swedish government. Are you going to do more uh, from the than the previous government? And what exactly are you going to do to address Turkey's security concerns? Uh, yeah, that's the question. And how fast are you going to do this? Well, the short answer is obviously that we now is implementing new legislation, and that would mean a lot for our possibilities to fulfill our obligations according to the to the to the agreement so that that's a short answer the agreement in itself is what it is and we we are fully committed to it as was the former government but i think we now have have more tools to actually prove in 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 practice that we are delivering what we were promising from Bloomberg, thanks so much for the question. Um, Secret Secretary General, I want to ask about the situation in Ukraine, if I may. Um, does NATO have any evidence that Iran is sending missiles to Russia in an, in an effort to, to aid its uh, war in Ukraine? Thank you. I never go into uh, the specifics of our uh, intelligence, uh, but what I can say is that every indication points uh, to Iran um, supplying Russia with uh, these drones. And uh, we call on uh, all nations, and including Iran, uh, to not support uh, Russia's illegal uh, war against uh, Ukraine. Um, and uh, this is a war of aggression. It's a, a war which clearly violates international law, and, uh, and it's an attack on the independence of the nation in uh, Europe. And therefore, uh, NATO allies and partners um, have um, provided unprecedented support to Ukraine, and we are stepping up our support uh, at the Defense Ministerial meeting uh, last week. Um, several NATO allies announced new deliveries of uh, um, air defense systems. Uh, Germany, the United States, uh, the Netherlands, uh, France, and others are now in the process of uh, delivering uh, more and, uh, and advanced air defense systems uh, uh, to, uh, to um, Ukraine. And, uh, and, of course, the horrific uh, attacks we have seen uh, by these drones just highlights the urgency 
of uh, stepping up support uh, for uh, Ukraine. Fundamentally, what we see is that Russia's war, President Putin's war in, U uh, in Ukraine is failing. President Putin made a big mistake by invading Ukraine. He was forced to withdraw from the territories in the north around uh, Kiev. Then he launched a big offensive in Donbass. That uh, uh, offensive has been stalled by the brave um, Ukrainian forces. And now the Ukrainians are actually able to take back, back territory and liberate uh, Ukrainian land. Uh, and, uh, and we support them in doing so. Is there well, any evidence about missiles being sent to Russia? Thank you. Was it about drones? No, sorry. Uh, well, uh, it, it is fundamentally the same uh, uh, answer that, uh, that we don't go into specific uh, uh, intelligence, uh, but we are, of course, monitoring closely what uh, uh, Iran uh, are doing when it comes to also uh, providing any support to, uh, to uh, Russia. And uh, we call on, uh, on uh, Iran not to provide uh, neither drones nor missiles, and uh, uh, any, any supplies of uh, missiles will also be in clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions. Okay. Dan had the last question. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, please, uh, Dagens Nyheter here. Uh, two questions. Uh, do you have a meeting planned with uh, Viktor Orban or please type Erdogan because of the process of ratifications and also uh, will the discussion with Turkey be more easy when we have a male prime minister, a male foreign minister and a country that doesn't push for feminist foreign policy? Well, thank you. I, I'll, I won't try to, to guess or to interpret Turkey's uh, uh, views on that, honestly. Uh, but on the first question, I have, we have um, I told the Secretary General that I'm, I'm very prepared to go to Ankara as soon as possible, uh, and we will send that signal also to, uh, and we have already sent that, uh, that signal to our, uh, to our Turkish friends. Um, and we discussed uh, what timetable would be suitable for, for, for that trip. So that's, that's, that's in my plan, yes. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for. Uh, After him, he did. The bilateral agreement, mm. there is uh, a section which says that you are going to have a structured dialogue. How is the structured dialogue working? Is it progressing? Can you describe it? Well, honestly, I have been in office for two days, so I, I can't. Uh, I don't have the full insights in everything yet. I, I have to admit. But we have had a very good dialogue with the, with the resigning government, or the last the former government, and as far as I can tell, that dialogue has been very well, uh, very well working. And uh, we stick to that. Uh, as you know, we have, I have asked the chief negotiator to stay in, his, in, in office and to fulfill uh, his work. And uh, all my impressions are that these are, that there is a good dialogue ongoing. And I, of course, I will stick to that and I will try to make it even better. Thank you very much. This Thank concludes you. this press conference. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.